There you go. Hmm. So that's a big blue blob in the cytoplasm of, uh, I can't tell if it's a, is it a neutrophil that's, because it looks like it has tiny little granules here. Yeah, it's either, it's either almost segmenting or a, a band, but yeah, oh, it's okay. a neutrophil. Okay. It's and, not a monocyte, which is important. Right, because it's got granules and it doesn't have little vacuoles. Um, hmm, I don't know what that is, though. So there's the test answer, and then there's going to be the real-life real life answer. Okay. So if you see this on a test, this is Anoplasma phagocytophilum. Oh. Uh, because if you saw it on a monocyte, you would pick uh, Ehrlichia trafiensis. Ehrlichia's in monocytes, Anoplasma's in neutrophils. neutrophils. Ah. Now, here's the real-life answer. This is actually Ehrlichia lingii. It's usually a canine Ehrlichiosis, but we've had at least a couple... Uh, cases in our geographic area. Wow. Do you have to use molecular to sort out the species? PCR. Or PCR, okay. PCR. Wow, that's cool. Not for the patient. I mean, though. no, yes, <laughs> Because course. that's that's one of those, like, you're calling emergency calls. Oh, really? It's a real it's, bad... It's really, really yeah, bad. Yeah, it's one of those diseases I don't really have a good concept of, like, what it entails clinically. I don't, I don't recall ever seeing a patient with it. I mean, I'm literally dropping everything at that point. Wow. I'm finding a clinician to call and getting them. Well, that's good. And, you know, see, that'd be something so easy to overlook, right, if you didn't know to look for it. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's that was not my first rodeo, so I saw that and I knew what I was looking at. And the first one I saw also ended up not being anaplasma. It ended up being Ehrlichia wingii. So sometimes the diseases don't read the books, right? 